Hello, welcome back to the X vs Lemon Road to Glory series, where last time we managed to beat Colonel Gatafe 5-1 away from home with converting 5 of our 7 shots on the target. In this episode, we're playing SL Benfica 100 in the Cup, a brand new team, and not very strong one at that. Let's take a look at their squad. Well, they have a few good players to be fair. Their best player is striker Herculano Rufino, but he's at 30 years old and only 9 bars. Their midfield has two good players, in Eusebio Nature, the 34 year old, and Marco Campillo, the 27 year old, but Campillo is injured, which significantly reduces their midfield strength, which is great news for us. Aside from that, the rest of the team is pretty poor, to be honest, especially when you compare it to our team. So, because our squad is particularly much stronger than them, we can get away with playing a weaker lineup, perhaps a lineup that's below average age. So, let's see the team news for the Benfica vs Knights of Sidonia game. Benfica lining up in a 4-4-2 formation with Sue in goal. Back for Capaca, Capricornio, Tomar and Francisco. Midfield of Nato, Pasinas, Faustinho and Vivros. And a front two of Rafinho and Madruga. Benfica's team has a 5-bar lineup with an average age of 25. Next meanwhile well rung the changes with Ant Connolly in goal. A back four of Devin Riley, Ibrahim Camara, Aqua Santa Maria and Pedro Miramontes. A midfield of Reitatao Etta, Pierre of Hestink, Alvito Roma, Glenn Carlton and Sebastiao Quimado, the front man of Endira Zubelia. We are playing an 8 bar lineup with an average age of 24 as a result, so we're a bit below par and the defence is actually an average age of 22. But let's go live to the Deleuze Stadium for this cup match. <laughs> Captains for this match are Eusebio Nato for SR Benfica 100 and the Knights of Sidonia are temporary captain for today is Aquila Santa Maria, captain of the side for the very first time. Our referee today is Donald Scott of Skills Free Harshness 8. SL Benfica 100 in the red strip on the left, playing from left to right. Knights of Sidonia in the chain strip of yellow and black, and we're playing from right to left. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see, as usual in the cup matches, we've got highlights of some of the big biggest teams in the ultimate league playing cup matches. And we're about to get this cup tie underway now! And in the early stages of this game, Knights have got the ball and we've got the first shot of the game with Endio Zubelia! That is why the target. Seven minutes play, we only have one shot on goal. Benfica aren't leaking on the ball, it's all night so far. Sebastian Kimado! That only misses. Ten minutes play so far. And we can see the other game. Oh, we've got another chance here though. Pierre Pestic with a well placed header. Scores! Pierre of Hesling gives Knights of Zidonia FC the lead from a cross by Endira Zubeldia. 1 0 to the Knights. And we've got another chance. Endira Zubeldia with a powerful head on goal. That smashes it in the crossbar. All night so far, Benfica have barely even had a chance on goal yet. And of course, as soon as I say that, they have a chance. It's Felipe Madruga over the crossbar. Over the crossbar. Madruga wasn't really into it at all. We've got a chance here for the Knights though. Glenn Carlton! Just why? Glenn Carlton, who was making his first start this season, having been a regular last season as our free kick taker. But with Miramontes now in the team, it isn't really needed. But you got a power play by Glenn Carlton again. Skims over the crossbar. Well, Benfica have been awful so far. They just let Knights dominate the game. We've got another chance here. There's a head on goal by Aquila Santa Maria. And he scores! Aquila Santa Maria scores only his second ever career goal and the first since the playoff final in season 31. And that is half time. 2 0 Knights. For the half time, Knights have had seven shots on target when compared to Benfica's one and absolutely dominated possession with at least over 60% of the possession. Meanwhile, we have scored twice and look pretty comfortable in this cup tie. That's two away goals, remember, to take back with us to the supermassive black hole. Raymond Hargreaves will replace Alvita Roma for about equal game time while we save players for the old left back and field. Well, how up goal by Aquila Santa Maria, score again! Two goals in a single game, that's never happened before. Aquila Santa Maria, the goal instinct defender, has scored twice and has now 3 0 tonight. Will Pavel shot on goal by Ray Tassau Essa, wide by clear margin. 65 minutes play in this cup tie. And Looking like all over to be honest. We've got another chance here by Glenn Carlton. Can he score his first time of the season? No. Sells over the crossbar. Three chances. The only ever scored so far. 
SLB figure 100 look down and out to us. And I'm really just talking to fill up this rather one sided game as Rachel Sarah has a chance and goal and he scores! Great touch out Esso makes it 4 0 to Magic Slovenia. But is anyone really surprised this game is really going? There's only one team in this game so far. Taking on goal, Pierre Peston can score again. Nope, is ruled off by Sue. Palinio Sue has saved Pierre Peston's chance. We've got another chance though. Another breakaway. Endures the battle, tries to push the ball by the keeper. 5 0. 5 0. That is now our 40th goal of the season already. And this is only our third competitive game of the season. That's quite some record we've got so far. And that is it, full time. 5 0 to Knights of Saudi Arabia UFC. SL Benfica 100 were just abysmal, to be honest. There is no other way of putting you about it, to be honest. And that is the end of the game. As you can see, we had 13 chances. Herculano Rufino was the man of the match for SL Benfica 100, and Alvito Roma was the man of the match for Knights of Saudi Arabia. Fairly great job by the guys there. Well, there's pretty much nothing to say there. Benfica were absolutely awful. We've taken advantage of their awfulness and pretty much secured passage to the next round of the cup. And I have a feeling we may be facing a familiar opponent in the next round of the cup. One that we played in the league before, not so long ago, say about um, two seasons ago. I wonder who it could be. I guess we'll have to find out next time. Or at least after the next cup game, which will probably be just as one-sided as this. The important thing is though that Devin Riley got a full game on his home debut and was able to get some valuable DV. While Ibrahim Kamara also got a full game as well as in Endira Zubalia. So good game for the fringe players to get full game time. <laughs> Team of the cup round is Freddie Alnawood, Jesus and his pandas in goal. A back four, Basim Abdul Latif, Jesus and his pandas. Rico Bournes, Jesus and his pandas. Jose Bat is that super crew. And Lawrence Donaldson, Steppenwolf Suckers. Midfield of Octavian Silla, Jesus and his pandas. Jaime Maro, the Stretford Enders. Sani Siklin catch Jesus and his pandas. And George Oldfield, Makang, the captain of this round. And the French two of Spence McAvindu, Al Levin, and Luke Mason, Cairo Nightboats. So we've done well so far. In three games, we scored 14 goals. But in the next game, we face probably our toughest opponents of the entire league season so far. You may have seen them in the first two league games of the season, they absolutely dominated the midfield portion of the X11. It's all the Craftians, who have a very, very good record of Division 6, and is the opponent of this as our nightmare opponent. We lost them twice when we were both in Division 5 two seasons ago. This is one we really need to win, we want to get automatic promotion. So, the tension is on really now. So, see you next time on the Expert 11 Road to Glory series where we have our massive match against Old Love Craftians. Goodbye.